print email Facebook Twitter more Texas school shooting suspects spared people he liked so they could tell his story, documents show media player, space to play, M to mute, left and right to seek, 00 colon 000 colon 3500 colon 000 colon 35 the 17 year old student who authorities say killed 10 people when he opened fire in an art class in his Texas high school appeared weirdly non-emotional after the rampage, one of his lawyers has revealed, the teenager, identified by authorities as Demetrius Pagortzis, has been charged with capital murder and is being held without bail in Santa Fe, Texas, where authorities said he went on a shooting spree shortly before 8 a.m. on Friday, local time. The suspect began his attack by firing a shotgun through an art classroom door, shattering a glass pane and sending panicked students to the entryway to block him from getting inside, witnesses said. Mr. Pagortzis fired again through the wooden part of the door and fatally hit a student in the chest. He then lingered for about 30 minutes in a warren of four rooms, killing seven more students and two teachers before exchanging gunfire with police and surrendering, officials said. Media player, space to play, M to mute, left and right right to seek. 00 colon 000 colon 3200 colon 000 colon 32 freshman Abel San Miguel saw his friend Chris Stone killed at the door. Mr San Miguel got grazed in the stomach by another volley of shots. He and others survived by playing dead. We were on the ground, all bailed up in random positions, he said. Galveston County Judge Mark Henry, the county's chief administrator, said he did not think Friday's attack was 30 minutes of constant shooting, and that assessment was consistent with other officials who said officers contained the shooter quickly. But authorities did not release a detailed timeline to explain precisely how events unfolded. In addition to 10 fatalities, the gunman injured at least 13 people, with two of them in a critical condition. One of those in a critical condition was one of the two school resource officers who engaged the shooter before his surrender, Nicholas Pohl, one of two lawyers hired by the suspect's parents to represent him, told Reuters he had spent a total of one hour with Mr. Fagortzis on Friday night and Saturday morning. He's very emotional and weirdly non-emotional, Mr. Pohl said when asked to describe his client's state of mind. There are aspects of it he understands and there are aspects he doesn't understand. As the shooting unfolded, Mr. Pagorzzi spared people he liked so he could have his side of the story told, a charging document showed, but there was no immediate indication why he apparently targeted the art class. Suspect's family saddened and dismayed in their first statement since the massacre. Mr. Pagorzzi's family said the bloodshed seems incompatible with the boy we love. They said they were saddened and dismayed by the shooting and as shocked as anyone else by the events. They said they were cooperating with authorities. Investigators had seen a photo of a t-shirt on Mr. Pagortzis' Facebook page that read Born to Kill, and authorities were examining his journal, Texas Governor Greg Abbott told reporters. But there were no outward signs he had been planning an attack. Though Mr. Pagortzis allegedly wrote about his intention to carry out the attack, authorities have not established a motive for the violence. The mother of one of the ten victims said her daughter recently rejected Mr. Pagorzzi's romantic advances, a possible motive for the violent tragedy. Sadie Rodriguez said her daughter Shanna Fisher had made it clear that she was not interested in him. He continued to get more aggressive, Ms. Rodriguez told the Associated Press in an interview conducted via Facebook. She finally stood up to him and embarrassed him. The incident took place one week before the shooting, Ms. Rodriguez said. Asked about Ms. Rodriguez's allegation, Mr. Pohl said he had not heard about any such interaction between Mr. Pagortzis and any of the victims and therefore could not comment. That's news to me, Mr. Pohl said, though he cautioned he had spent much of the day disputing false rumors about the teen's personal life. Mr. Pagortzis waived his right to remain silent and made a statement to authorities admitting to the shooting, according to an affidavit ahead of his arrest. Asked if Mr. Pagortzis had provided authorities with information about the shootings, Mr. Pohl said, honestly because of his emotional state, I don't have a lot on that. Santa Fe High School, southeast of Houston, became the scene of the fourth deadliest mass shooting at a U.S. public school in modern history, joining a long list of campuses where students and faculty have fallen victim to gunfire. The shooting again stoked the nation's long-running debate over gun ownership, three months after a student-led gun control movement emerged from a mass shooting in Parkland, Florida.
which left 17 teens and educators dead. Students and faculty, passed onto campus in small groups, were allowed to enter the high school on Saturday to retrieve belongings, though investigators closed off a section of the grounds. Police kept reporters away. All schools in the Santa Fe School District will remain closed on Monday and Tuesday, officials said. In a letter to parents Superintendent Lee Wall said eight of the dead were students and two were teachers. Authorities had earlier said that nine students and one teacher were killed. Classmates at the school of 1,460 students described Mr. Thagortzis as a quiet loner who played on the football team. On Friday, they said he wore a trench coat to school on a day when temperatures topped 32 degrees Celsius. Mr. Abbott told reporters Mr. Pagotzi's obtained firearms from his father, who had likely acquired them legally, and also left behind explosive devices. He said Mr. Pagotzi's wanted to commit suicide, citing the suspect's journals but did not have the courage to do so. Some aspects of the shooting had echoes of the massacre at Columbine High School in Colorado in 1999. The two teenage killers in that incident wore trench coats, used shotguns and planted improvised explosives, killing 10 before killing themselves. Media player, space to play, M to mute, left and right to seek. 00 colon 0001 colon 5100 colon 0001 colon 51 Reuters AP print email Facebook Twitter.